Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm Todd Price from the Times Picayune. And this I'm Ann Maloney. Maloney. And we're part of the food team. And we are here at Mugshots in Covington. It was voted the number one burger by readers on the North Shore. So we're tasting a couple of their burgers. And then uh, a little bit later in the afternoon, about an hour, we're going to go to Bud's and taste theirs. That was the top in the South Shore. And then we're going to go back in the newsroom and decide which of the two we like best. So, right. What, tell us what we got here. So what I have is the classic. And without the mustard. So without Anne doesn't mustard, like mustard. It's strange. I don't I like mustard on my burgers. And so this is the classic. It's base, your basic burger. It was a patty. Uh, lettuce, tomato, and mayo, and pickle. And what I like about it so far is the size. This is a great size burger for me. So I won't be stuck. So you've got the quarter pound. I went for the bigger one here. We did one of the half pound burgers over here. It's the Big Kahuna. So Mugshots, we found out, is founded in uh, Mississippi. And they have about, I think, 11 locations in Mississippi, five or six in Alabama, and just this one in Louisiana. But apparently the owners got the idea when they were living in Hawaii, so we thought we'd try their Hawaiian burger. I'm going to cut it in half here, just so I don't make a massive mess. And see what we got here. This burger, it's got pineapple and... All that good stuff. Alright, should we try them? Yeah, and I think the bun is like a, it feels like a Hawaiian bun. You know, like those little sweet Hawaiian rolls. Burgers come with fries. Yeah. Look at that. That's a massive burger. Bacon. It's a good old burger. Yeah. Alright. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So does that end our segment and we'll Head back to the newsroom after we go to Bud's next and then pass judgment and decide what you do. Oh, you got more to say? I'm going to say one more thing. When she brought me my iced tea, she brought me another piece of lemon. That's a big plus for me in restaurants. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back about an hour at Bud's and then back in the newsroom to decide which of the two we like best. Hello. Hey, I'm Todd Price from the Times Picayune. And I'm Ann Maloney. We are uh, the main part of the food team here, a big portion of it, and we're out eating food. So we're at Bud's Boiler at City Park. We've got a number five, a number four. Bud's was voted number one burger on the South Shore by our readers. Mugshots on the North Shore was voted number one over there. We just came from Mugshots, and now we're over here at Bud's. Right. Uh, we found, we met Mel, the owner, current owner of Bud's. He told us a few cool facts. This is the second Bud's. Where was the first one? Here? Clearview and Airline? Clearview and Airline, next to a bar. I had no idea. Apparently Bud liked to drink. Uh, we also learned, it, well, like, Anybody in New Orleans probably knows this, but all the buds use charcoal. Spin around. <laughs> so way in the back is the charcoal grill. Uh, they use Kingsford briquettes, and he told us they can never put a buds in a two-story location because they all use brick chimneys. Now I know what you're thinking. This is two stories where we're at. We found out there's an apartment upstairs where Bud used to live back when Bud had the place. So we're going to taste these and then go back to the newsroom and decide whether we like the South Shore or the North Shore burger better. Uh, I'm starting with number four because that's, that's the classic. That, that's what I order. I don't know how Ann grabbed my number four. So I got a number five. There we go. All right, now I need a napkin. I'm going to reach over. Mm. Mm. No. It's a classic. And, uh, just like I remember it? Just like you remember it. Not much has changed at Bud's, and that's a good thing. Uh, Mel, the owner, told me to use 100% chuck for their beef. So, uh, classic, classic burger right there. Uh, got anything more to say, or should we get back to the newsroom? No. Well, we'll be back in the newsroom we'll about 30 minutes. Bites. Yeah, we'll get some more. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be in the newsroom and tell you which of the two we like best. So, check back in a little bit. Well, we're here back at the newsroom. Yes, hi. Uh, we should tell people who we are. Yes. They just, I, I'm Todd Price, dining right. writer for NOLA.com, The Times Picayune. And I'm Ann Maloney, the food writer. And, and this is our lovely newsroom. We're back here. We, <laughs> we have been all over uh, tasting burgers. So our reader poll, we let them pick their favorite burger for the North Shore, and the readers picked Mugshots from the North Shore, which is a chain that started in Mississippi, has locations in uh, Alabama and one location out in Covington. And over on the South Shore, they pick 
the classic Bud's Broiler as their favorite. So we just came back from tasting them both, and now we're going to tell you which of the two we like best. So uh, what do we want to say about it before we reveal which of the well, two readers' choices we prefer? First, in defense of these two burgers, but, they've yeah. both been in the car and taken a ride. So they That's look right. better when they're fresh. That's right. The, these are prop burgers that have seen some miles. Yes. I think we could say fairly that they're yes. both good burgers. Yeah, yeah. We like both of them. Yeah. Uh, I think here on Mugshots, we like the bun. It's sort of Hawaiian-style bun, nice and sweet. A little sweet. sweetness. Yep. Uh, I like the seasoning on the fries. I thought that was nice. And I like the iceberg lettuce. It's a little bit crunchy. Mm -hmm. That's nice, and it comes with pickles. And yep. it's, it's a nice little burger. It's very small. It's a small burger. Um, good size for me. Yep. Uh, do we want to say anything we don't like? I found the meat on this one a little overworked and dry. Yep. And it didn't have a lot of flavor. Like it, I think it needs a little more fat in it, maybe, or maybe it's just overworked a little bit. So a little dense. We like the bun, less so on the patty overall. We thought it was pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Buds, uh, about as classic as you get. Uh, that's grilled over charcoal. 100% uh, chuck is what the owner told us. Uh, each location has a charcoal grill, mm -hmm. and we got the classic number four here with hickory sauce, onions, cheddar cheese. You order by number, which anybody who's been to Buds knows. So. Mm -hmm. Which of the two do we like best? I think we both agree. It's Bud's. Bud's. Bud's is our pick. Yeah, hands down. Yep. It's a juicier burger. The meat is a little more tender. Yep. And uh, it's a little bit bigger burger, too. It's like a, a little bit heartier. Mm -hmm. It's a good burger. Yep. And uh, I think it's worth noting, as we walked in with our two burgers, we ran into the mayor and the police chief. Police chief had no comment. Uh, the mayor was very excited to see a bag from Bud's. Apparently, he likes the number five as his pick. So that's the word from City Hall as well. So thanks for joining us on our journey uh, all over the place eating burgers. Uh, and we'll see you again on Facebook Live doing something else. All right. <laughs>